to send me down now. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm energy. Live long and prosper. I mean, what are we even doing here? Yeah, it's great when you don't have to observe the prime directive because I'm about to make first contact with Riga Gold Sprats in Oil. These are in canola oil and some salt. Uh, we've had some bristlings recently, you know, these uh, sort of Norwegian or Polish guys, but hey, these uh, these Latvian Sprats, they're their own thing? Yeah, I guess so. I've always uh, noticed that they tend to be uh, pretty consistent quality across brands, kind of like any fish you scoop up out of there. They're all about the same, but uh, you know, maybe we'll be proved wrong today. This is a big old can, man. I'm not promising you that I'm going to finish this if I happen to find like, you know, 70 fish in here. Oh my God. Oh, okay. They're like, yeah, there's smoke too, by the way. Ugh. Son of a gun. I mean, we're about to... Ugh. Yeah. All right. Look at them. Really smoky. The smokiness jumps right out of the can. Look, they're kind of brown from being smoked, huh? Fairly uniform. You can tell they really packed them in here. We got a couple that are uh, a little worse for wear. Just sort of touching them up. They feel a little stiff, man. These tails, I, I gotta say, just touching them with the chopsticks is the first time I've been apprehensive about how I'm gonna deal with the tail or how um, bristly it's gonna be. Let's just go right in and see what we're talking about. Not that bad. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, so the smokiness is not so strong taste-wise. This is actually a pretty fish here. Um, but it's got kind of a smell that's... Um, it's, it's mellow, but it's not on the like pleasant side of smoky. If you know what I mean, man. And you know, the way these have kind of been stained, you know, you booked a non-smoking room, but at the last minute they're like, we're really sorry, but you got into town kind of late. Ugh, it just kind of scratched my throat, some of these sharp bits. And you get the smoking room, and uh, you know, what does it look like in there? Yeah, these guys are scratching me up, man. These tails, you can, I mean, you can, you can just feel it. You can just feel them scraping around in there, you know, like little bottle brushes. The taste of the fish, I, it's tough to get, get much through the smokiness. And again, these tails are um, too much, man. You know, it's like the kind of thing I usually like figuring out what the tail is like, you know, you know, a lot of times, there's scales on a fish. There's almost scales on every fish that you get out of a can. But you don't really notice them. But sometimes you really notice them and it's like, it puts you off. The fish is just kind of, it's way blander than like uh, what you get from King Oscar smoked bristlings. Or even remember those amber fish sprats that I had one time? Those are $2 a can, something like that. And uh, they were super tasty and uh, these don't hold a candle to them, I'm afraid. Mmm. I don't know. You want some crackers or something with these. But, you know, if you have some of this, eat them if you got them, right? You know, maybe save them. They're going to be there forever. You're going to have a moment of weakness or like, I, I got to wait. Wait till you come home from uh, really partying out and you just got to eat something before bed. You know, when your expectations are just super low, maybe you, maybe you just, uh, you had a, uh, a one night stand, you you know you're really gonna regret and you kind of go into the kitchen and like, hey, why not 
two one night stands in a night, huh? Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I'd like to come back to the ship, please. Oh, hey, Gary. Are you into Star Trek stuff? Yeah? Cool. <laughs>